In the realm that exists beneath the surface of the known world, the labyrinthine caverns were home to an incredible kingdom. This was the kingdom of goblins, a vibrant tapestry of mystery, mischief, and might. The goblins, despite their impish demeanors, were a complex race ruled by their beloved goblin king. This king was no ordinary ruler. He was renowned for his cunning intellect, a sage among goblins whose favorite pastime was crafting riddles that twisted the mind and sparked the imagination. One day, the Goblin King announced a challenge, a challenge that would echo throughout their subterranean world and beckon creatures from all corners to the Goblin Kingdom. The challenge was simple in concept, yet complex in its execution. Any creature capable of unraveling the enigma of the King's three riddles would be granted a wish. This wish, however, was not restricted to trivial desires. It was a wish with immense power, any wish within the Goblin King's might to grant. The proclamation of this challenge reverberated throughout the underground tunnels and caverns. It crawled its way into the burrows of hobbits, echoed in the underwater cities of the merfolk, and travelled up the roots of trees to the heart of the fairy forests. This unique decree stirred the curiosity and competitive spirit of creatures near and far, each keen to test their wits against the Goblin Kings. The first among the many curious and brave beings was the centaur herdsman. Known for his strength and wisdom, the centaur, with his horse-like stature and sharp intellect, stepped forward. Yet the cleverly spun riddles of the Goblin King left him pondering, each more complex and enthralling than the last. The Goblin King's cunning was a labyrinth, a twist of thoughts and words that the centaur, despite his wisdom, couldn't solve. He departed with newfound respect for the Goblin King's intellect, and a story that his herd would pass down through generations. Next to accept the challenge was the nymph of the Silver River. Renowned for her wisdom and deep connection with the universe, the nymph was a whisper of the world, her existence in tune with the ebb and flow of life. She attempted to tap into this profound connection, seeking answers in the gurgling of her river, the rustling of leaves, the sighing of the wind. But the Goblin King's riddles proved to be elusive, their answers dancing just beyond her grasp. Despite her failure, the nymph returned to her river with a light heart, her musical laughter blending with the bubbling river, a testament to the unique encounter. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the mighty and the mystical attempted and departed, the challenge remained unsolved. Then, a new contender appeared. A humble forest sprite named Sila stepped forward. She was a tiny creature, her stature barely reaching the Goblin King's knees. Sila was not known for her might or mystic connections. She was just a sprite with a boundless curiosity and a love for puzzles. With a heart full of courage and a mind sharp as a pixie's needle, she presented herself to the Goblin King. Riddle by riddle, Sila began to unravel the mysteries. Each solution brought with it gasps of surprise and whispers of admiration from the onlooking crowd of mythical creatures. Her answers were innovative a testament to her cleverness and unique perspective. When Sila provided the answer to the final riddle, the entire kingdom burst into applause. The Goblin King, delighted by Sila's intellect and charm, bowed before the tiny sprite in respect. He gladly granted Sila the promised wish, marking the end of a challenge that brought together creatures from all walks of life, enriching their world with new tales and experiences.